Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Bianca. If you're always here, what's up? If you're not subscribed, you should definitely subscribe and stick around because it's just what you should do. So, <laughs> um, we it's Tuesday. We're about to go ahead to the gym and do leg day. I hope it's cold outside because I'm wearing a comfy sweatshirt. And we're gonna kick this off with the little inspirational, motivational, healthy, mental, health segment of the day. Today's little mental health motivation morning thing is more of like a tip. Mm -hmm. And Colin's gonna tell you about it. Okay. <laughs> because he, it's, this is today's hit. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how you guys were taught growing up, but my mom always told me to treat people the way you wanna be treated. And one thing that we tend to overthink about all the time is, or not think about, is anger and how people respond to people in certain situations with anger. And normally it's because you're trying to attack someone or protect yourself because you truly feel differently and you don't want to be vulnerable and express your true emotions, so you cover it up and respond in anger. Mm -hmm. So today's tip is all about in any situation you get in, try to yeah, try to do anything but anger. That's the thing we're calling it, anything but anger. So mm -hmm. respond in any emotion Speak except anger. Try to basically think and really understand how you're feeling in the situation and actually express what you're feeling and talk about it rather than get angry and attack because then it's gonna end up making you feel better for not being mean. And then it's also gonna make that person that you're talking to feel a lot better because then you you're- You didn't like attack them. Yeah, and you're trying to like help them understand. Yeah, so tip of the day, coming at ya. Anything now, but anger. Anything Try but it. anger. Do it. That's Let just like know. in any situation. Any situation mm -hmm. that kind of gets you upset, just try and because handle so, it in well, anything but anger. So many people think that it helps, doesn't help, or doesn't so, many, help. so many people think that it's okay to be angry and like, Everyone's gonna be angry no matter what from time to time. Like, no one can help that. Yeah. But it's very unhealthy. Yeah. To, like, so, if you can control your emotions mean. and try and just handle it in like a mature mm -hmm. way and you speak with kindness and you just give it a second, mm -hmm. you'll feel better. We're going to the gym. We kind of slept in a little bit today just because I could not fall asleep last night. And then I kept calling up. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we are getting there a little bit late, but that's okay because it's leg day and I don't have orange theory today. So we can pretty much take our time. And then also, study! Had a parcel pending yesterday and completely forgot to go get it. Another one, so we're gonna go get it right now. Really quick, he's gonna drop me off there and I'm gonna run in. I don't know why I'm putting this on, I guess I can. Okay. That box that I picked up earlier was my body bloom. It finally came from Sarah's day. And I ended up ordering two because like they sell out and I just didn't wanna have to like have it me run out and then it be sold out and me can't get it again because I really like it. So I'm about to drink body bloom before I drink anything else for the day because it has like a ton of probiotics and stuff in it. Helps with digestion, health and gut health and all that stuff. And then I'm also gonna keep them in the refrigerator because she does that and I like them cold. And then I'm gonna get a video edited and my nails done because look at that disaster is bad. I can't get it open. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh shit. Oh, it's so good. Okay, so my mom and I just got our nails done and I literally didn't vlog before because she scheduled an appointment and they had availability like ASAP. So I sped here because I like showered and did my nails and stuff. But this is on my Instagram and like my little details highlight or it's like a beauty. I think it's my beauty highlight. And I always, always, always get my vampire is buff. So yeah, this is what it looks like. And I also get SNS dip and I go to polished nail bar. And there's a ton of them in Charlotte, so I'm not gonna tell you like which one I go to, but I go to Polished Nail Bar. Home from the nail salon, I ended up curling my hair just a little bit. I need to definitely redo my hair um, tomorrow. And the weather today is just kind of terrible. So yeah, I don't know, I'm all over the place right now. But I'm making my little egg scramble. See right there, it's looking good. And then also I just got new eggs and I noticed they have little breast cancer signs on them. You see what I'm talking about? 
thought it was cute. But I'm making this egg scramble. I have a video uploading right now. It's the weekend in my, our life vlog. It's like a little date day on Saturday and a super lazy Sunday. So yeah, not that much happened in that vlog, but that's fine. And then I'm making this scramble. I don't think I've mentioned yet in this vlog, but I'm going, I'm the, it doesn't open till five, but I've decided I just can't wait for my appointment on the 15th. So my mom and I tonight are going to the gyno urgent care. So hopefully we'll figure out what the frick is going on with me today. Stay tuned. Okay guys, I'm with my mom. Do you want to be on the vlogger today? Sure. Okay. Hey, everybody. S sounds good. So, we need to have some girl chat. Who's excited? We are. Okay, yeah, so, finally. I've been having issues. We all know, like, sorry, this is about to get TMI. Like, if you're not about it. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. I love you so much. Make sure you come back for tomorrow's video. You can peace out right TMI. <laughs> so, I've just been having, a, like, a whirlwind of a... Of a mother nature so ever since we went to minnesota this summer i've seriously had a period on and off every single day i've told you guys that and i've just been like wicked tired i've been having like all these pains and then now like the past couple days i got a uti and then i got a yeast infection well i thought i did but i actually don't have one of those thank god it was just like a combination of like uti period all that stuff which was making me feel that way and then I had all these appointments that got canceled and they couldn't get me in and all this stuff. You guys, I was just filling you in if you didn't know the backstory. So also I have the next one on bar on my arm. I will be getting that taken out on the 15th, I'm pretty sure. Um, and going on like a low dose of estrogen birth control pill. Oops. Thanks. Oh yeah, you gotta get you in it. So that's the update with that but also then I was getting like all these super weird pains and stuff so while I was there they like checked me out and all that stuff got like a little some little tests done peed in a cup came back with the UTI and then I had to get a ultrasound and they found um, that I had cysts on my ovaries and that's why I was in so much pain and I freaking self-diagnosed myself because that's what you do when you wait so long for a doctor's appointment You just start googling things and I literally was like guys as in like calling on my mom And I was like I have sit in Haven and Lauren. I was like I have cysts on my ovaries I am not kidding and I was so confident and so sure and then The freaking doctor was just like oh there it is <laughs> like <laughs> ultrasound found it so like after uh, the longest freaking time of me trying to tell like just get somebody to stick a little ultrasound wand in me and just to look i finally have an answer and i had ovarian cysts and so now we're currently on our way to target which is my second time there today <laughs> and we're going to fill my prescription but i just like literally wanted to be super open and honest with you guys because if someone else is experiencing these pains, just go to the urgent care guy now. And, and tell him you need an ultrasound. And tell him you need an ultrasound, you're not gonna leave that one. <laughs> because I know, she started crying. She was like, I oh, would if they don't did. do an ultrasound. And, and they said it's like giving me in a hormonal imbalance and I'm like just something was wrong with me and I knew something was wrong with me and I could like sleep at any time of the day and I could cry and I was not pregnant because we've taken so many pregnancy <sighs> tests. <sighs> Sorry, we almost got hit. It. I'm about to slam my foot. I was more so I know, I was more so honking so they knew that I was coming. Anyways, so But she's like, if they don't do the ultrasound, that's why we came. I go, oh no, trust me girl. I'm gonna go postal. <laughs> He's about to drive next to me and I don't want him to think I was like honking at him. I was just I was just letting you know that I was coming. Oh. Sorry guys, I just had to get in a little fight with the people next to me driving. <laughs> but seriously. Anyways, so I finally figured out what Oh by the way, so yeah, wrong with me. I said we are not leaving until you get an ultrasound. It's <laughs> happening. We just got really worry. thrown off because this guy almost hit me and then he got pissed and all, literally all I was doing was honking till he just like let him know I was in his vicinity and don't go and then he like came at me so then I was like game over like screw you. I'm just very relieved to know what's up because like seeing so many people and no one being able to tell you like what's wrong with you and then it like affecting like yourself and then kind of like your relationship a little bit because that's not like fun and like you don't really feel pretty when you have a yeast infection in your period for like so long. Who the frick is honking? No, these guys are honking at those kids. Okay. 
she's ready to go at somebody else. <laughs> so, girl, just pipe down. I know, I'm fine. So, Take I mean, jeez, I just had people stick a bunch of shit at me. Like, you think I'm in a good, like, relaxed mood right now? <laughs> so, anyways. Somebody please help whew. me. So, yeah, I'm just, like, very relieved. And I think Colin's very relieved, too, because I've been, like, in just a very uncomfortable pain for a very long time. And now I'm finally driving to get the cure. So... <laughs> Yeah, not to be like dramatic or anything, but I just want to help anyone out because if anyone ever has those symptoms, like definitely go get yourself checked out and ask for an ultrasound because they can just be like, oh, it's your birth control. And I was like, there's no way, like there's just no way that that's just my birth control. Like there's something else happening. And I'm sorry that this has been such a long clip, but well, I nobody just, knows your body like you do. So you just got to tell them. Yeah, like, heck yeah. I, this is what I have to have done. I know. For sure. I know what I need to eat. I know myself like the back of my hand. And I think everyone honestly should know themselves like the back of their hand and like what foods are good for you to eat and like what foods you digest well. And have you ever heard of eating by your blood type? And if you haven't, there's a book, you should read it. And it's like there's this bunch awesome. of crazy things that you can learn about yourself and it's like self discovery and like. You don't even have to buy a book, just Google it. Yeah, eating just honestly for your blood Google type. it. I know, honestly, sometimes I don't really trust Google though because. Well, you look at it. I looked at several sources, and then they all overlapped, and they were the same information. So I figured it was true. Right there, fifteen. I part. see. Yeah. I kind of hope that my prescription's not ready yet, so we can like go peruse the home section or something. Anyways, that was just like a little life update. I've been seriously <sighs> waiting forever, and we good sisters. Back with my man. We didn't really plan for dinner so tonight we're gonna split a meal at Viva Chicken because you can get like a huge chicken and then split sides so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go do this and then go home and snuggle I'm excited we are home I have to put my video up for today for you guys it's uploaded I just have to like put it up you know I need to turn this light off in the front and then I'm exhausted I feel like I've been going a mile a minute today and I just haven't but that's the way I feel it's all comfy on the couch I keep tripping over cords. Send help. I got the video up. I just went around and kind of cleaned up. I need to do the dishes really quick from today. But I literally cannot go to bed. I've said this before. And if the apartment's ready, I can't go to bed. So I'm going to just do the dishes today from lunch. Because I left right away and didn't really have time to do them. Because I had to go to the doctor. So i going to finish these. Got that done. I do need to put my clothes away, but I'm just gonna end up doing that tomorrow, probably, so I can go to bed. Tomorrow we've got another vlog coming your way, so make sure you're subscribed so you never miss any of my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.